Okay, what we're going to do is open up RSLogix 5000 and create a small, simple program and download it to our L23. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to double click on RSLogix 5000. You can see the different versions I have installed on this computer. Now I'm going to go ahead and close the start page and I'm going to do File, New. Here I have to choose my processor. And I have to choose the version. Currently I have version 18 in the processor. And I'm just going to call it test L23. And let's go ahead and hit OK. And it'll just take a second for Iris Logics 5000 to create the program. And here it is. All right, so let's go ahead and create a simple program. We'll open up the main program and double click on main routine. We'll go ahead and zoom in so we can see this a little bit better. And let's go ahead and put an XIC on there and an OTE. And if we take a look at the compact logics, we can see that the L23 has some built-in I.O. We're going to use the first slot and the second slot's I.O. addresses for our program. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll double click on the question mark. And I will select local one input, data, zero. And for the output, I will select Local to zero, data, zero. And so there, now I have a very simple program using the very first input and turning on the very first output. So at this point, let's go ahead and download it. Now I could download it via serial, but that's going to be really slow. So I'm actually going to download it via Ethernet. So I'll go ahead and choose communications, who active. I'll go ahead and I could use DF1, the RS-232, but that's going to be slower. So I'm going to go ahead and expand Ethernet. I'm going to go ahead and expand the L23 Ethernet card, expand the backplane, and select the actual processor itself, and click on Download. It's telling me that I'm going to overwrite the existing program, I know, so I'm going to go ahead and download. And here it goes, and it's complete, and now we're online. And now we've downloaded our simple program into the Compact Logics.